Yesterday, Palantir held the first part to its much-anticipated double-click demo day series. They touched on two of the 40 industries in which their foundry platform operates, those being life sciences and industrials. In this video, we are going to specifically talk about life sciences, and tomorrow I will release a second part covering industrials. In supplement to my analysis in this video, I will be sharing clips from the event. Here's COO Sankar to kick it off. I'm Sham Sankar, Palantir's Chief Operating Officer. I'm excited to kick off the first in a series of DoubleClick events with you today. We're gonna to show you how our software is addressing our customers' hardest problems and helping them with their biggest opportunities. And we're gonna show you how it's doing so in unique ways, ways only Palantir can, leveraging out-of-the-box archetypes on top of Foundry. Today, we're building on our inaugural demo day back in January. That event brought exceptional interest in our platform from around the globe, but in particular, incredible demand in the US where we just almost can't keep up. Today, we'll be taking a deep dive into life sciences and industrials. In the last year, as scientists accelerated research at unprecedented rates, as manufacturing ramped, as global supply chains were tested, Foundry was there. It was there to accelerate outcomes, to manage shocks across both these industries with customers like Merck Group, 3M, the NIH. Most recently, after partnering to distribute 7.5 billion PPE items, we've been proud to work with NHS England on their vaccine distribution program. The NHS ordered, allocated, tracked, and delivered every single one of the 29 million and counting vaccines that they've administered, and the hundreds of SKUs that are needed for each and every single one of those jabs in Foundry. We have thousands of users, from GPs at the front lines to MPs on the phone lines, drawing from the same source of truth. Nearly 2,500 vaccination sites are managed using Foundry. It helps the NHS navigate supply fluctuations, manage cohorting, all while protecting patient privacy as a first order concern using our novel purpose-based access control technology. And we congratulate them on the tens of millions of vaccinations to date, a truly heroic feat. Our two platforms, Gotham and Foundry, they're operating systems for the modern enterprise. Gotham provides an end-to-end -end solution from space to mud that integrates every single sensor and every single shooter for US and allied defense around the world. It is a single platform that helps you understand, decide, and act. Foundry is, by analogy, that same operating system for the enterprise. It helps you understand, decide, and act. It isn't just about analytics, it's about decisions, about making better decisions. It's not just about being more efficient, it's about winning. Winning by generating sustainable alpha by outlearning the competition. And only Foundry can do this. It is a completely unique offering. The team will walk you through our life sciences and industrial archetypes, which deliver value through out-of-the-box, end-to-end workflows immediately. Our archetypes in every industry, not just life sciences and industrials, are a growing and continuously improving set of workflows and capabilities that are enabling our customers to rapidly get increasing value from Foundry. Most importantly, everything you see today is modular. By design, Foundry allows you to build on what you have and take only what you need. And let me go no farther without saying that this is much better. This entire setup, cameras, lighting, teleprompters, all of it much, much better than the original Demo Day presentation. They certainly stepped up their game when it came to the production quality of this event. And look no farther than Sankar no longer recording in his bedroom as proof of that. Anyways, you heard him there talking about this double-click series building on top of the inaugural Demo Day that was in January of this year. They've had incredible and overwhelming demand in the U.S. and even globally, and now is a unique time for Palantir, especially on the life sciences side of things. Palantir Foundry is the focus of this event, and Sankar said how Foundry is, of course, the operating system for the modern enterprise, and it's a single platform to understand, decide, and act. It's not just about analytics, it's about winning and generating alpha for any given project, to build on what you have and create something great out of it. For life sciences, that's using clinical research to improve patient outcomes on the back of Foundry in a way that only Palantir can do. Here's the life sciences intro. 
We're going to show you three ways that our clients use Foundry's capabilities to accelerate clinical research and improve patient outcomes that frankly, no other platform can do. Firstly, how it allows them to be totally compliant with the stringent governance requirements around healthcare data, while still allowing researchers to access that data and uncover valuable insights. Secondly, how it enables them to do research in ways that are completely reproducible and transparent. And finally, how it allows them to share and collaborate securely across their organization and across user profiles in ways that accelerate research. They break it into four parts. The first is governance. And governance is so important because of the nature and characteristics of the data that Palantir is dealing with. Listen to the lengths that Palantir goes to for governance on its Foundry platform. Life science organizations have more data about human disease than ever before, from clinical observations to genomic imaging and wearable sensor data. We can all feel how important it is to have strict governance and access control on this data. Less intuitive is how to actually meet the corresponding regulatory requirements. Foundry gives them full control over data access and usage. For any given data set, governance administrators can see every place it's been used in one click. And more critically, they can immediately understand what purpose the data was used for. The result is increased control for governance teams and reduced risk of unauthorized repurposing of highly sensitive data. The full framework can be deployed out of the box with our purpose-based access control archetype. Good governance isn't about a single snapshot decision, but rather control over the ultimate uses of any data. So as I said, I was particularly impressed with the governance part one there. And moving on to part two, which is analytics. Let's see what Palantir has to say for actually analyzing life sciences. Foundry accelerates studies by allowing researchers to use the tools they're comfortable with while making it easier to collaborate and to iterate. We've built Foundry to be as open as possible for data science. Our native code workbook tool allows data scientists to jump between R, Python, and SQL. And with a couple of clicks, any open source library or package can be added to a workbook. Foundry has deep integrations with our studio and also allows clients to connect to custom HPC clusters to develop with the help of specialized bioinformatics tools. Collaboration all takes place in Foundry's model management archetype. This archetype provides a framework for model governance and reproducibility of results. The archetypes are huge. I'll be covering more on that tomorrow, especially with the industrial archetypes, because I feel those are more tangible and easier to wrap your head around. But nevertheless, let's move on to the third segment being data. Models are only as good as the quality of data they're built on. And developing a model like ours requires pulling high quality data from multiple disparate sources from across the patient journey. Foundry's interoperable architecture allows me to do this by making sure that the fractured source systems can be quickly unified. Foundry provides the connective tissue between these systems. I've mapped source data to medical vocabularies, which could include RX, Norm, and SNOMED, and transformed my source tables into ready to analyze OMOP tables. Researchers in my organization now have all the real-world data at their fingertips without having to translate between raw schemas. Here in my data foundation, I've imported 10 trials from a source system. Each has 20 component data sets with dozens of variables in each one. Foundry's entity resolution archetype guides the harmonization effort between these. It automatically services suggested domain and variable matches, but then lets subject matter experts review and confirm the logical matches. The full mapping provenance, the matches, confirmations, and transformations are saved and transparent for any future users. I've now built a 360-degree view of each patient, and I've put their disparate data points in the context of their overall journey. And even more importantly, each patient's story is now told in the same language. The standardization archetypes allow me to compare symptoms in one patient directly to patients from a different source. I love this quote, that models are only as good as the quality of data they are built on. Very true. And that's what Palantir Foundry is all about, aggregating the data and using archetypes to take it further than ever before thought possible. So let's move on to the fourth and final, knowledge. We've looked backwards at how Foundry can be used to prepare data for research. Now let's look forward to how this model could be securely shared and built upon by others within my organization. Instead of starting from scratch, researchers can discover past projects and get a head start from the cohorts, datasets, or logic created by their colleagues. Even seemingly uninteresting results 
might lead to the next breakthrough down the line. Models that have been shelved for null results might generate new hypotheses when run against updated data sources. Once the knowledge store archetype is deployed, all projects are set up with a homepage for collaborators. We want to make sharing as low cost as possible. I can use the same framework to search for ongoing research that might accelerate my own. I remain in control of just how much I want to share. Reproducibility in scientific research is a serious crisis. High profile retractions of COVID observational research demonstrate the importance of getting this right. Foundry helps address this issue with automatic provenance tracking. Any research result, whether a data set, model, or visualization, can be traced step by step back to the exact version of the raw data that was used to produce it. In a similar manner, Foundry helps institutions track attribution. Whenever any artifact from the knowledge store is reused, this usage is logged and the originating author is acknowledged. So there you have it. Those were the four segments, governance, analytics, data, and knowledge from the life sciences presentation. And now let's hear their closing thoughts on this part of the presentation. The combination of robust security and automatic provenance gives our clients confidence to collaborate in new ways, from working with third-party analysts to private public research initiatives. And this is a good place to leave our demo. As we showed, we think Foundry is unique in its ability to address some of the most complex parts of clinical research, data governance, results reproducibility, and secure collaboration across studies. We help our partners accelerate from one study to the next and ultimately translate research into improved patient outcomes. So there you have it. That was Palantir going deep on the life sciences industry of which they serve with Palantir Foundry. A definitely very timely explanation considering the many hospital and medical needs there are today and also the vaccine rollouts. But in closing, the work Palantir is doing is of the utmost importance in today's world and they really are helping to solve some of the greatest problems of today. And tomorrow I'll be doing the same sort of analysis breaking down clips to Palantir's second half of the presentation, this time for industrials. So stay tuned for that. Until next time.